How you doing? Huh, you a little sideline a little bit? Assessment starts when the mom walks in the door. It is important to lock eye and eye, look at how their gait is, look at the relationship between whoever they brought with them, how are they doing. Uh, relationship building is very important. Hello. <laughs> The definition of a midwife, it means with woman. As a midwife, I provide prenatal care, uh, labor and delivery, and postpartum care. I was attending Brown University. I wanted to be an obstetrician. And one day I was seen in a clinic um, by a midwife. And I was like, oh, they still have those? That's what I am. And so I went to pursue how to become a midwife. I went to a midwifery school for three years, and after you get the academic part down, you have to apprentice with a midwife that is licensed in that state. So it was about 10 years in that I was ready to have my own practice. So, what do you think it is, Ma? Girl. Oh, I think it's a boy, but she thinks it's a girl. Head is still down. Back is over here, so you feel kicking over here? Yeah. I have four children, two girls and two boys. Um, they were all born at home. And my second daughter had just finished high school and was getting ready to go to college, and she had a pain in her back, and, you know, I'm thinking, oh, you're dehydrated, drink some water. Long story short, it was stage four cancer. And from diagnosis to death was 10 months. And, um... One of the things that she said was, you need to open up a birth center. I went through it because it was her request from me, but what she did was open my, she expanded my life by having a birth center. From the very beginning, I see my moms about every two weeks, especially my first time moms. How's baby moving? Oh my god, I swear he's doing like the worm in there or something because it's like. The birth happened on the first floor. I live up on the second and third floor. And April was my busiest month. I had 17 births. And I had two going on at one time, but I never had three. But I'm prepared if that happens. <laughs> but up, but up. But up, but up. But up, but up, but up, but up. I, look, I'm stopping because I'm dizzy. <laughs> but up, but up. <laughs> we have a good old time up in here. When I opened up the birth center, I was like, okay, we, I have to make a community because our families generally are the only ones that are having an out-of-hospital birth. Their friends are all going to the hospital and they're saying, oh, why are you doing that, blah, blah, blah. There's not a space where they come, and so that's what I created. Being a physician wasn't as personal of an experience as having a midwife, and namely, you know, Mama Fua. The physician didn't see me nearly as often, and no matter what my wishes were, you could feel the pushing of certain processes and certain medications. When I went to the doctor, and I was going over options about um, delayed cord cutting right. and all of these natural things. She she gave me the, what is that? And no, we don't do that. It's their way. It, yeah. And that's fine. I'm a registered nurse, so I understand. You know, it has to be done a certain way. So that's why I started looking for other options because when I came here, I felt heard. I, Love the hospital because I think it's there for if something goes wrong. Right. You need to be there. Right. And in a natural birth where you're not having any problems or anything like that, your body's going to do whatever yeah. it needs to do. And your body rocked that baby out. It rocked him out, it rocked him out. The most important lesson that I've learned is that it's very important to listen to your clients because 
what I say on my initial consultation to the mom. You're the captain, that your partner is the co-captain, and I'm the advisor. And so even though I've been a midwife for 35 years, the baby is not inside of me. The baby is inside of you. And so you know more about that baby than I know. It's a team that we have going on. You're not happy. You're not happy. You not you okay? You okay? Yeah. So this almost says eight. So we're good. Mm -hmm. What is important to me is not just okay they had their baby, but how is the breastfeeding going? How are they assimilating to life after the baby comes out? Your blood pressure is great. It's a hundred over sixty. Any headaches? Nope, you've been pooping yeah. every day? Every day. You poop Twice. every day. Twice a day? Oh, okay, that's good. That's good. How's your appetite? <laughs> I'm hungry all the time. <laughs>work with other midwives for a long period of time because we deal with life and death, okay? And we all hope that at the end of the process that you have a baby and you have a mom, but sometimes situations happen where you need to be experienced in what it is that you are doing. When I met Afua, it was like, this is such a personable way to connect to women, to walk women through this journey of pregnancy. And she builds a community. She has all these women come together to embrace pregnancy and to learn you know, how to take charge of their bodies and know their bodies. And that doesn't always happen in the medical field. Here comes one. Okay. Here comes one. Push your legs, push your legs, push. You push, that's it, that's it. Here we go. Yes. Here we go. Okay. Oh, man. Hi. <laughs> Birth is very empowering. You went through something that people tell you you can't do. Like, oh, you're gonna need that pain medicine. You're gonna, oh, you're gonna rip from here to there. And when you get to a point in your life where it is difficult, you're like, oh, I made it through that and I'll be able to make it through this too. Because when my daughter got diagnosed with cancer, I was like, how are you gonna get through that? Like, what, what? And I was able to say, but you pushed out four babies at home. You're gonna get through it. And I did. <laughs> okay, great. Ah! And the pregnant women help me out. I love what I do. I hope that uh, everybody gets to find the profession that they like to do because in the middle of the night when I'm dead sleep and I get the phone call, I'm not like, oh snap, I gotta go to work. It's like, oh hey, how you doing? And they ask me, do you ever sleep? I said, who wants to hear their midwife? Hey, hello, what's your mind? You don't wanna hear that. You wanna hear that I'm as excited as you are. Yeah. How are you? Every birth is a miracle and it doesn't get old. And so for me, it's new every time and the energy is fantastic. And so I, I'm blessed.